it's Miss Kristen from Brentwood Library, and I'm so happy to see you today. There's a really special story time I'd like to do with you, and let's start. You could sing along and wave. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very nice. To begin our story time today, we're actually going to stand up and start with everyone, everyone, jump up and down. You're very good at this. Here we go. Everyone, everyone, jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. Everyone, everyone, jump up and down and sit right back down. Excellent. And we're gonna get right back up again to do our next song. And for this song, we're gonna to have to know the sign for stop. So if you could lay your hand out flat, then you take your other hand, just like this, and make a chopping motion. Stop. Very good. Let's practice one more time. Stop. Excellent. Walking, 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 walking. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Now we're going to tiptoe. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. Now we stop. Now we stop. And we're going to do one more movement. We're going to march. Can you lift your knees up high? Marching, 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 marching. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Excellent. Let's get ready our first book. Let me see your two little hands. Good. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little hands go thump, thump, thump. Two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little body turns around and around, then sits quietly on the ground. Very nice. Let's get ready for our rhyme with our box. So put your hand out flat. Here is my box, and here is the lid. I wonder what inside is hid. Very good. I have my box, so you say that with your hands and I'll use my box. Here is my box and here is the lid. I wonder what inside is hid. There's a lot in here. We have the letter. Very good. C. If you put your hand just so, you're making the sign for C. C says k, 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 k. Very good. And in my box, I have some things that begin with the letter C. We have k, cake, k, carrot, and finally, caterpillar. So, C says k, cake, carrot, caterpillar. And I would like to introduce our reader for our first story. 
Her name is Ella, and here she is. Hello. And Ella and I are doing a very special project where we're learning about the life cycle of caterpillars. So here we got five little caterpillars and we got them a few days ago. And Ella, can you tell us anything about them? Well, um, they are getting bigger because um, the last time, well, the last, when we got them, they were small and now they're big. How do you know? Because of I have a daily journal of them. So you keep your observations in your journal. Mm -hmm. You're right, they are much bigger. And we're going to include you on this journey as our caterpillars turn into something very special. And if you don't know, I think our book will help you learn. Um, it, the, it is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon of the a little egg lit on a leaf. One Sunday morning the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a teeny and very hungry cat caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swift cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a tum tummy ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon. Around himself he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and He was a beautiful butterfly. And that is the end of the very hungry caterpillar. Excellent job, Ella. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna do a rhyme about opposites. So let's get our hands ready. We say, this is big, big, Big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Very good. And at story time, we usually do that twice, but 
since this is a video, you can always replay it. But now we're going to do a flannel board. And you will see I have some beautiful green leaves, rich dark soil or dirt, a cool dark cave, and then a grassy hill. And we are looking for our friend Hedgehog. Hedgehog is hiding in one of these places. Will you help me find Hedgehog? Great. We're going to say our rhyme and we'll tap like this. Hedgehog, hedgehog, hiding all day. Hedgehog, hedgehog, come out and play. Hmm. I think Hedgehog might be in the cool, dark cave. What do you think? We'll have to keep looking. Here we go. Hedgehog, hedgehog, hiding all day. Hedgehog, hedgehog, come out and play. You think the grassy green hill? Let's see. No, it's groundhog. There's our groundhog. But no hedgehog. Let's keep looking. Hedgehog, hedgehog, hiding all day. Hedgehog, hedgehog, come out and play. You think? In the rich dark soil? Let's see. No, it's a squiggly worm. You're right. There's only one place hedgehog can be. But let's say our rhyme one more time. Hedgehog, hedgehog, hiding all day. Hedgehog, hedgehog, come out and play. Is the hedgehog behind the green leaves? Yes, we found hedgehog. How exciting. So there are our friends. Very nice. Now we're gonna get ready for our next book. And to do that, we're going to do our elevator song. So let's stand up. Here we go. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a lot of tall buildings on a little bit of land. And we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We ride the elevator up, ride the elevator down, ride the elevator up, ride the elevator down, ride the elevator up, ride the elevator down, and sit back down. Excellent. We're going to read our second book, which is titled in the garden. And this book actually does not have an author. So in the garden, you will see that gardens need lots of rich dark soil. In the garden, many fruits and vegetables are growing. Look at that. Lots of colorful food and beautiful butterflies. The orange carrot grows in the ground. Look, it's in the soil. I pick it and eat it. And look here, we have a little bunny. Bunnies do like carrots. The purple grapes grow on the vine. I pick them and eat them. Yum! The red apple grows on the tree. I pick it and eat it. Oh, I love apples. 
The blueberries grow on the bush. I pick them and eat them. The green beans grow on the vine. Do you see the green beans here? I pick them and eat them. Do you see the red caterpillar? That's right, it's right there. The yellow corn grows on the stalk. These look very different than blueberries and the way they grow. This is a stalk of corn. I pick it and eat it. A caterpillar. The red tomato grows on the vine. Tomatoes grow on vines. I pick it and eat it. Do you see the worms? Worms are very good for gardens. Our garden is growing. It certainly is. Look at all those healthy things to eat. And we are growing too, it says. All these healthy foods will help you grow. And that is the end of our second book. Now we're going to do a song. And you are very familiar with this song. Here we have our itsy bitsy spider going up the water spout. So let's get ready with our fingers. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Excellent job, very nice. And now we will do one more song. It's a toddler tail favorite. I'm gonna stand up and do head, shoulders, knees and toes. So can you find your head? Excellent, we're gonna start off really slow. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, we'll do it one more time and we'll speed it up. Get your hands on your head. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Excellent job, very nice. And now it's time to say goodbye. So we will sing our goodbye song. And all you need to do is sing along and wave. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Excellent. It was very nice to see you today. I hope you had a great time like I did. We'll see you next time. Take care.